Welcome to part another. Uh, today we are going to see what is of this one. It's the simplest video I'm going to post. Uh, just a basics uh, about South East Monsoon, not in depth. Let's go see what is of this monsoon. People are there that who did not know what is exactly the South East Monsoon. So what they we So we are going to see what is South East Monsoon, what brings this monsoon and what drives it. Subscribe me on the in weather in YouTube, Twitter, and also in Facebook. All three platforms uh, with the same user ID. Okay, what is South East Monsoon first? Actually, it's the reason uh, rainy season in India and across Asia from June to September period. This brings 95% of the annual rainfall for India between June to September period. This decides the economy of India. This monsoon is very important for farming. And agriculture across the India, and also this is the backbone for uh, Indian economy. This is also called summer monsoon due to heat flow. is formed near foothills of Himalayas, like uh, it's not exactly all foothills of Himalayas, but north and central India that will be heat flow. This brings the jet, jet winter pattern to jet stream from southern hemisphere to northern hemisphere. Dry high pressure area over uh, Madagascar in South Indian Ocean. And uh, moisture low formed over Himalayas. So, this Himalayan uh, heat low pulls the wind from Madagascar. And during South East Monsoon, we observe surface to 4 km above sea level wind pattern that uh, travels from Madagascar and collects the moisture in the Indian Ocean and eats the mainland of India. This brings heavy rainfall across the country and other parts of Asia. Uh, this is Indian Ocean. Let's see how it works. If you see in January, the sun is over southern hemisphere. So the summer, southern hemisphere is experiencing summer and over northern hemisphere it is winter. In July, if you see that northern hemisphere having uh, uh, straightly over sun, sun is over straight, straight over northern hemisphere and that experiences the uh, summer. What happens in January when sun is straight over the southern hemisphere? The southern Indian Ocean is moving. Actually, from surface to uh, 4 km level, you see that wind pattern moves from cold area to warm area. So, in January, northern hemisphere is cold, southern hemisphere is warm. So, the wind moves from northern hemisphere to southern hemisphere across the river. Uh, this is the pattern in December to January period. See, high pressure is over uh, Asia and India. Northern region and low pressure is over southern hemisphere. So, this is where the wind moves from this direction, crossing equator and forming a heat low over here, and from southern subtropics to low pressure and northern hemisphere to low, uh, low pressure. Both these heats here are called intertropical convergence zone. What is intertropical convergence zone? Intertropical convergence zone is not, nothing but the wind from southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere where it meets. That area becomes a low pressure and that drives the monsoonal winds. Since the uh, sun is uh, over southern hemisphere in December to January, uh, the ITC zone is coming over southern hemisphere. So, ITC zone always follows sun. Follows sun. So, sun is over here, so it follows and the ITC is coming over southern hemisphere. Now what happens in July is that uh, you can take it from June, June, uh, July, sun is over northern hemisphere. So the North Indian Ocean is warming up, South Indian Ocean is cooling up. So again, the wind travels back to northern hemisphere from southern hemisphere. Now in June, July what happens is that here is the high pressure area, these are dry zones, wind is moving from here to uh, northern hemisphere, not the equator, because the sun is over northern hemisphere. So, here the yellow line, if you see that, that is ITC is its own. Now, in December, January, we saw ITC is its own in southern hemisphere. Now, in June, ITC is its own for me, is over India. So, the southern hemisphere wind and from uh, northern hemisphere wind both colliding here. So, this forms as a low pressure area. This 
serve as one of the pattern, the wind pattern on South India and Asia. Now, this is uh, during the onset in June. What happens is that, see, there are three high pressure regions over Southern Indian Ocean. There are three circles, there are high pressure area, which is a dry zone. Moving towards uh, Somalia and in Somalia and uh, crossing towards uh, Arabian Sea and hitting the Indian mainland. And another branch goes towards the uh, Bay of Bengal. So there are two branches which are so this one is what hits the Arabian West Coast, another one goes towards the Bay of Bengal, through Bay of Bengal, east and southeast India and north of Central India. So this is what we call Madagascar High, not three high, we call it as these high pressure are very important. Determine the rainfall over India. So, this yellow line is called as the axis of one in June. So, this is the limit, and this is where the low pressure area forms. This is the latest uh, southwest monsoon onset day from Indian Meteorological Department. They have introduced it. So 
this is what actually I just uh, uh, given some crisp points about some of those responses, not any in depth points. It will maybe be a eye opener for maybe uh, people who want to know more about this. It will be an eye opener for you. Thanks for uh, staying here and please subscribe to my YouTube. Also follow me on Twitter. If you want weather dynamics and lessons on video, you can uh, I can post it. If you want day to day updates.